Hi everyone, in today's video we will be making garlic butter pork chops and for this recipe you will need pork chops, paprika, onion powder, adobo seasoning, cumin powder, cayenne pepper, chili powder, pepper, garlic powder, salt, some butter, some fresh garlic, parsley, thyme, and a crock pot. You will also need some Worcestershire sauce. The next step after you've washed and dry padded your pork chops is to as assemble our dry rub. So these are the same ingredients that I had just listed previously and they'll also be in the description below. And I've just added about two tablespoons of cornstarch and this is going to help create a crust on our pork chops as we're going to pan sear these in a moment. Okay, so once we've mixed up our dry rub, we're just going to slowly add these to our pork chops on both sides and as well as the, the sides of the pork chop as well. And you just want to pat it down so the dry rub doesn't fall off once we've added it to our skillet. So just cover both sides and then I'm just going to continue this process until we've covered all of our pork chops. You'll need two tablespoons of olive oil or any oil you have at hand. And we're just going to evenly place these pork chops into our skillet. You want to make sure they're not touching because we don't want to steam our meat. We're just looking to get a nice brown crust. And we're doing this on a medium to high flame. So you'll need to do this for about two minutes. And then you could flip and then another two to three minutes. And this is what we should look like. There's a good trick to keep our pork chops from caving in. If you sear the sides of the pork chops, especially for these thicker cut ones for a few minutes, this will keep them nice and flat. We're gonna be cooking our pork chops in a crock pot for three and a half hours on high. And you wanna line them up against the side of the crock pot as that's where the heat will be coming through. So while our pork chops are cooking on a medium flame, we're going to melt about a quarter of a stick of butter and we don't want to burn our butter, so we're going to keep this moving once we've added this in. And as you see, you got to keep your eye on it. You don't want it to burn. So I'm actually going to reduce the heat a little bit because as you can see, it's starting to burn. So we want to avoid that. And that's more the consistency that we're looking for. So once we bring this all the way down to a melted form, we'll be ready to add our garlic. And the garlic will only need about 30 to 45 seconds. We don't want to um, brown our garlic. We're just looking to, to cook out that raw taste while still having that amazing flavor. And then towards the end, we can add our garlic in time. And just, we just need to melt that last little bit here. And we should be ready now. So our garlic is ready to jump into its butter bath. And again, we're only going to cook this for less than a minute. So once our garlic is in there, just keep giving this a stir. And then as you leave it in the butter, it'll cook. So you want to make sure all your bits are in that hot butter. And as you can see, the color is beginning to change. We want to hit that nice light caramel color. And then we'll know well, it's ready to add our herbs. There you go. And this doesn't need much long to cook, maybe about 20 seconds. It works better if you have fresh herbs at hand, but um, I didn't have any. So I just used dried um, thyme and parsley, and it worked out just fine. All right, guys, we're almost ready to eat. So you want to carefully bring your pork chops over to your skillet and add them to our garlic butter. And the pork chops will begin to absorb all that garlic butter. And you want to be careful because you don't want them to crumble on you. And this is our final plate. Um, looks no different than what you would see at a five-star restaurant. And this was great. So just give it a try and like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.